Hello and welcome back. In this video, I have some super helpful tips for moving your designs and really any resources you have in Google Drive over to Canva. Just because if you are digging into Canva, then maybe you see some of the amazing audience interaction options and presentations. You can generate quizzes and polls now, or if you just like some of the design elements in Canva, but still have some things in Google Drive that you don't want to lose or recreate, it's super easy to move some of those things over into Canva and have it live there and leverage some of Canva's awesomeness. So if I sign in to my Canva, there's a couple ways you could go about this. One way is downloading your Drive files and then uploading them here. I don't tend to see that as being as successful and I don't like the way sometimes things get moved around after I download them. So what I need to do is sign into my Canva and then on the left hand side, I'm going to click projects. And then over here, I'm going to see all the projects and things I've been working on. But if I click add new, then I'm going to do import from app. And then Google Drive is one of the places where I can pull files from. So a couple of pieces to know here. Not everything can be moved over into Canva successfully. Like if you have some really large files, sometimes those won't go because of the file size. And I've also noticed that if I have Google Slides presentations where I have so many GIFs and animations in them, those also don't tend to come over very nicely. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll delete some of those out of the slide before I move it over so then I can leverage it. But let's just say I want to move over something about our learning management system into here. So I made a bunch of training materials and webinars, and this just pulls up all of my different things. So I can upload it and it does take it a little bit depending on the file size. So it's importing it and typically I'll see it like right here. And when it's finished, it shows up in my projects menu in Canva as one of my designs. And then from there, you always know that it's been imported because it kind of has that dot G slides or dot G doc onto it, but I can open it and then start editing it, fix it, make it beautiful in Canva and do what I need to do. So here we go. That actually came over really nicely, including the little bitmojis of me. And then I can even rate it and tell Canva, hey, that was amazing. But now I can leverage Canva design elements. I can use some of the new interactive quizzes and polls in Canva. I can use the live audience feature in Canva now. And I can't do those within Google Slides. I have to add a bunch of add-ons to be able to leverage some of those similar features. So just a really helpful hint here. I can pull over Google Docs really easily in my experience as well as slides and then some of my digital posters and pieces like that. But helpful hint, especially if you're wanting to leverage Canva more often, but still find yourself very attached to your files in Google. There's a will, there's a way. <laughs> 